Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I just wanted to show you. No, hip. It's, there's a storm and they're acting really like the thunder was really big and they saw me dig up that hole and then I had to deal with the lady out back that said she can't walk, taking time to, you can't, the wind blows from the back. I have a fencing up. Um, so there wouldn't, it wouldn't be like, this is so petty. I can't even believe, and this just shows how much more I have to grow, right? Is it though? So a lady that says she has a hard time walking, but she's been known to throw stuff in our area. So she thought she could hide behind a bush, jump off of her riding mower, but she can't walk, remember, and get a cardboard box and proceed to mute, like, wrestle my fence around to throw a cardboard box in our yard. I sat and watched her do the whole thing. So then I just popped up. So I had a little bit of an interruption. I'm not done yet getting this. This is about as fun to work with this chicken wire. Don't ever get it. We were in a, we hated that it was plastic too, trust me. And there was little to be found. The prices were jacking up. We had chickens escaping. We had to start coming up with stuff. Um, and to protect them is, um, so about, I think I said I found about 15. Those do look like they might perk up. Although I did pull some of them right up out of the, now those aren't going to stay in here. I just wanted to say this is about seven by eight by four. And the seeds that miss the container over where I need to caulk there on the bottom of the house and seal it up on this side too is um, I need to dig down more. So I will be moving those. It's hard to see right now because I could go in this way, I guess. So there was about 15 or so that had the seeds had fallen to the back. I just neglected them. I still don't know how they got enough sun because they were behind this container and that container was over here. So I got this cleared out. Like I said, it's, it'll be about a four by seven ish. These were here. I moved those from the front by the rose tree thing, the boards. This is mainly, I have to do these things because of the pee pee boys, the pups. And so it's kind of at least a little bit of a, you know, it hits this first and, and goes back. And uh, this is kind of a hill. So I will be wanting to do rocks along this edge here because of the, you know, when it rains and then the dirt's going to wash away and keep that barricaded in. I have one more of these beams, but, uh, so about four by seven, this should be fine for those tomatoes. They, if they all make it, uh, most likely not all of them will, but if they do, they should be all right cozy in here. This is, uh, like I said, this is cement under here all the way out to where I have it mostly. And that's about it. Just uh, having to talk to my neighbor and go out and say, hey, why'd you, why'd you, why did I have to watch you heave the box like that? That was pretty weird, you know, well, how it wouldn't blow over here. That was just really disturbing. So she probably bent my fence purposely uh, just because, just because that's what people like to do to me. And that's how bad it is for where I live and what's been said about me. And I'm not looking for a sob story, but isn't it sad that I'm not taking cardboard boxes and throwing them in her yard or glass in her yard or going a whole acre or more to go up and bug her, right? So that's all I have. Have a good one. Bye.